hello you're welcome back to our channel and today we're going to examine how korea is being viewed in nigeria so we're going to be introducing our friend her name is Catherine. she's going to be telling us how she sees korea or her views about korea in general stay with us Hello, Catherine. How are you doing? I'm fine. All right. Can you tell us a little, little about yourself? Okay. My name is Catherine. I'm from Lagos State, Nigeria. I also live in Lagos, Nigeria. But I came to Abuja for a little while. Happy to have me here, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to our channel, Korean Vibes. Thank you very much. Okay. So, can you tell us what you know about Korea? Hmm. Korea. Okay, before now, I think far back as 2011, 2012, I saw Korea as just another country in Asia. But after a while, I started seeing updates from people about Korea. People were so particular about movies. Then after a while, I saw both of you, <laughs> Shea and Shea, trying to learn Korea. I'm like, Korean language? <laughs> So, but I'm the type that keeps an open mind. Then at a the point, I saw people, especially girls, crushing over um, one actor, Lee Mi Ho, I think. <laughs> and I'm like, what is wrong with everybody <laughs> and Korea? So um, at the point, your YouTube channel came up. I started learning about Korea gradually, the food, the culture, the people. Like um, there was this soya food, tofu, yeah, tofu, and then you did this um five foods that we must eat, and I fell in love with kimchi fried rice. Please ask them to make for me. We will. <laughs> and then um, I just had this open mind, and I started putting Korea in list of countries I should visit. So, Catherine, what aspect of the Korean culture do you really know? Um, Korean culture. I think um, there's Korean food. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm not a foodie, yo, but I just, you know, I'm attracted to the food I see. <laughs> okay, there's Korean food. Then, obviously, the number one that everybody goes wow about the Korean drama. Oh my god, I've not seen so much, but. <laughs> then there's um, Korean music. There's K pop. Oh, oh, pick up. Yeah, we also have the Korean traditional Can dance. Can I call and... Korean dance differently because, you know, in the music. It's generally known as K pop. Okay, so yeah. there's Korean dance and, oh, K pop. <laughs> and then there's um, Korean culture. I don't know if I should call it Korean culture, but there's this part of, um, you know, all these rules and regulations, things to do and not to do. It's still the culture. Okay, yes, so Korean culture. All right, so um, of everything that you've listed so far, what exactly intrigues you? What aspect really intrigues you? Hmm. Intriguing. I'm African, and you know that we Africans, in fact, let me leave out Africans generally. We Yoruba people, so we respect. <laughs> so it was very strange for me to see someone that is not from Africa really taking respect personally i watched this thing on your youtube channel about how i have to drink water in front of an elderly person facing away and how i don't eat before then that's like the height of respect meaning i can cope i can really cope you know if i was maybe brought up another way i might not really understand that respect is necessary but we africans especially yoruba people we take respect as everything and then it really made me like wow korea is like this oh man i love it already <laughs> All right. oh yes yeah, sorry i think there's another thing the Jeez. dance you said it's k-pop but yeah. just the dance no, i'm talking about the youth dance like the dance That's k -pop. i really wish i had someone to teach me that so i'm hoping to learn because i love dancing you can actually learn. There are free tutorials online. You can also join the Korean Cultural Center Nigeria. They also teach K-pop there. And um, do we have that in Lagos? All right. For now, I think they are just in Abuja, but you need to check their websites to find out about that. Okay, thank you. All right, Catherine. We've talked about um Korean culture, K-pop, 
K food, K everything. <laughs> Alright, but does this very important thing I really need to get from your opinion? What is your view particularly about Korea? Because you sit here now as a representative of Nigeria. So I really want to get exactly what Nigerians feel about Korea. When you hear Korea, what comes to your mind? What do you think of them, the country, the people as a whole? Can you just tell us? Okay. Can I refer to the past before the present? You're free. Okay, so um, I used to see Asians as strict and wanting to guard their borders, no wanting blacks or anything. But recently, I started seeing a lot of tuition-free courses from Korea. At the point, I saw something concerning even my flight being sponsored by the government. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet sure I won't take this off. Like, that's just to show that Korea is really ready to open their boundaries to all sorts of people because it was not just Nigerians, it was everybody. I saw a list of countries, over a hundred, that they were open to. I was like, wow. It's very rare, very, very rare among other countries. I was like, wow, that means I really can walk freely there. Then also, I've been watching your videos. I see Korean people. There was one that a, um, a Korean man, I think an instructor, was dancing with a, a Nigerian guy. Then I saw Nigerians dancing and there was a Korean lady dancing too. <laughs> I was like, this is really nice. That means they're nice, they're open. So my view of Korean people right now is that they're probably the most open people in Asia. Like, because I've not really experienced other um, countries, but I really know that Korean people are very open-minded and I would really love to meet a lot of them. Okay, so if I give you a ticket to Korea for like, a year mm-hmm. will you go can i pack my bag <laughs> <laughs> i think i think i'm ready <laughs> i think i'm ready i really want to leave there i want to leave there even if it's for six months i just want to leave there probably learn the language um you know it doesn't look like our regular a b c d e but i want to leave there i think mean, korea korea is a beautiful place to be from what i've seen you know if you check in places in Korea, you're like, okay, I want to go here. So, um, Korea is beautiful from my perspective, and I would love to experience that beauty one day. So, you can still give me the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Catherine, for honoring our invite. To... Thank you for having me, too. All right, so, um, viewers, we hope you um, had the view of in nigeria and about korea and how she would really love to go to korea and how a perspective changed about korea as she used to see them as people who always um, kept to themselves not really wanting to interact with other black people or other foreigners but from her research recently she discovered that they are quite open people and they're kind of spreading their tentacles and trying to build relationships with other countries and so she now she 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 thinks of them as nice people mm-hmm. so she really wants to go to korea thank you guys for watching okay it's like this okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching and we hope you subscribe and like and put on your notification and bells. comments yes thank you share please <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys take care bye, bye.